Hello, and welcome to another fun episode of The Fat Vegan Chef. Before I begin, I want to say first of all that all of my videos are uploaded only to my YouTube channel, Fat Vegan Chef. If you see my videos uploaded anywhere else, please contact me immediately either on YouTube or my website, The Fat Vegan Chef. I do have a form you can fill out at thefatveganchef.com. To be sure you're watching the videos from my channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel now. Today, I'm going to show you how to make my vegan chili recipe. You may be wondering why I'm making chili at the start of summer. Well, hot dogs are a summer staple, and I love chili cheese dogs, which is what I'm having for Memorial Day. This tasty recipe is great for hot dogs in the summer, or on a cold winter day warming you on the inside with crumbled saltine crackers. The tools that you will need to make this dish are a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, measuring cups and spoons, a knife, a saute pan, spoons, a stock pot with a lid, and a mixing bowl. The ingredients you will need to make the chili meat are one cup of vegan beef crumbles or TVP, one cup of boiling water, two tablespoons of soy sauce, one teaspoon of toasted sesame seed oil, one tablespoon of olive oil, one package of firm or extra firm tofu that's been crumbled and do not freeze this first. You'll need one half ounce total dried porcini and or shiitake mushrooms. And you want to chop this fine. You'll need two ounces total of porcini and or shiitake mushrooms chopped fine and this is the fresh. You need one teaspoon of garlic minced, four ounces of tomato paste, and one tablespoon of ahi amarillo paste. For the chili itself, what you're going to need is two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, one and a half cups of medium diced red onion, two tablespoons of minced garlic, two peppers of your choice that have been roasted, skinned, and seeded. These are serrano chilies. One half pound of porcini mushrooms that has been uh, sliced. One half pound of portobello mushrooms that's been medium diced. You're going to need two tablespoons of chili powder, one tablespoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of sea salt, one quarter teaspoon of ground cumin, and one teaspoon of either ground black pepper or grains of paradise. And today I'm using grains of paradise. You'll also need uh, eight Roma tomatoes that have been diced to a medium diced. You're going to need one can each of black beans, pinto beans and red kidney beans, and you want to drain them and rinse them. One 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, and one cup of vegetable stock, and then also we're going to need the chili meat as well. Okay, now that we have our tools and our ingredients all put together, let's go ahead and make some chili. First we're going to make the meatless meat, what we're going to do is put the TVP or the vegan beef crumbles in a bowl. We're going to add our sesame seed oil, our dried porcini and shiitake mushrooms, our soy sauce, and our ahi amarillo paste. And now we're going to go ahead and add our boiling water. Now we're going to mix this up and let this rehydrate. And while this is rehydrating, we're going to set this on, a, on the side for a minute while we 
that make the rest of the meat. Okay, our crumbles are rehydrated. So let's go ahead and make our meat, shall we? What we're going to do is put some olive oil in a hot pan. And we're going to add our tofu. And we're going to cook the tofu down until the tofu is nice and brown. Alright, our tofu is turning nice and brown. So we're going to go ahead and add our fresh mushrooms. That's the porcini and the portobello. And we're also going to add our garlic. Mix this up. We're going to cook this for a few more minutes. Okay, the garlic and the mushrooms have had time to blossom. So we're going to go ahead and add the next ingredient, which is going to be our tomato paste. And we're going to mix this in and let this cook for a few more minutes. We want to let the uh, tomato paste uh, kind of caramelize a little bit on the pan to get some of their flavors out. Okay, we've let our tomato paste cook for a little bit and you can start to smell the nice toastiness of the tomato in there. So what we're going to do is add our rehydrated TVP or ground beef crumbles. And we're going to cook this for a couple more minutes. And as we're cooking along here, we want to scrape the bottom of the pan and get that font off the bottom of the pan and into the uh, tofu and the TVP. That's the flavor that we're trying to get here and incorporate into this to give it more of a meaty taste. Okay, it looks like our meat is just about done here. What we're going to do is set this aside and we're going to start to cook our chili. Alright, let's go ahead and start cooking our chili. First thing we want to do is add our olive oil. Put that in a nice hot pot. Once the olive oil is hot, we'll go ahead and add our onion and our mushrooms. And we're going to cook this until the onions are nice and translucent. Okay, our onions have turned translucent. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our garlic, our chilies, our spices and our salt. And we're going to mix this and we're going to cook this for a couple more minutes until we can start smelling the garlic and the spices shine through. Okay, I can really start to smell the garlic and the spices shine through. So we're going to go ahead and add our remaining ingredients, which are our beans, our tomatoes, our tomato sauce, our vegetable broth, and finally our meat. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to let this cook for a good half an hour. We're going to watch it and monitor the liquid content. And if we need to add more liquid, we'll go ahead and do that. But this should take about half an hour to cook. And then we'll uh, go ahead and serve it. Okay, it's been about half an hour. I've stirred this a couple times throughout its cooking process and I didn't need to add any more liquid to it. Let's go ahead and stir it one more time here. And it's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and taste it, see if it needs any salt or pepper. See how our flavor is. And I'd say it's pretty spot on right where it's at. So let's go ahead and serve this. And we're going to garnish it with a little bit of parsley. And just like that. Hello, this is Jared at FatVeganChef.com. I wanted to interject a postscript to this episode, and that being I took this chili recipe over to a friend's house for Memorial Day weekend, and her friends and family were there as well. A lot of them tried this chili recipe, and they couldn't tell the difference between this and regular chili, and didn't miss, miss the meat in it at all. In fact, the uh, beef chunks that I put in there and the flavors that I imparted with the mushrooms and the tomatoes, uh, they helped create that meat flavor that uh, you normally have in a meat dish. So this is a very good recipe for those out there that are vegans or vegetarians and have meat eating friends and don't know what to cook. So please try this recipe out on your friends. Let me know in the comments. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this fun and easy chili recipe. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to be informed of new videos. And if you like this recipe, please like it and share it with your friends and family on Twitter and Facebook. The recipe and more can be found at thefatveganchef.com. If you made this recipe, please let me know in the comments. Let me know how it turned out. Thank you for watching this video. I'm going to dig into this chili and make some chili dogs.